Hey there YouTube, it's Marvin here. How are you guys doing? Hopefully all you guys are doing well. Anyway, if you are uh, if you are a miner, this video is for you. Anyway, if you're using multiple GPUs, you know, on your mining rig, especially the BTC T37, D37 and the S37. In my case, I have the S37 and uh, I as soon as I installed the fifth GPU it gives me this, uh, this error here device could not obtain power consumption or device failed to set power mode from you know first GPU to fourth GPU it was okay you know I set everything I set my you know I only have a 4 GB RAM and I increased the virtual memory of my my rig so that's not I'm not I'm sure that's not the issue so uh, but again as soon as I installed the fifth uh, I added the fifth GPU it gives me this error I took uh, some screenshot here that uh, I can sh share with you guys let's see it's right here as you can see right here it says their device number one failed to set power mode and uh, there's another error that all right so this one here you can see it says here device zero failed to set power mode so yeah so what happened if i like uh, when this errors showed on your screen uh, it will you know it will stop mining it the excavator will stop it will try uh, in my case like it tries like twice or three times to try to uh you know to start mining and then it uh, freezes my 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 whole rig and then you can't do anything so i have to force i have to uh force it to shut down by you know by pushing the power button on the motherboard and then i did restart it again and try it again and it just keep you know showing the error so what uh, causing the problem is the nvml the dll files is missing in some location in your registry and that's the one monitors and manage various state of nvidia gpu and one of them is the power consumption of course i'm not gonna get into details you know what it does because the uh, purpose of this uh, video uh, is to you know give you a quick solution guys share with you the quick solution uh, without getting into you know hassle or hassle like uh, the hassle that i've been through trying to search the you know uh, the solution for this uh, uh, problem anyway so what we have to do is first we have to go find that uh, uh, nvml that uh, dll files in your com uh, system so all we have to go is you have to go to just close this one here okay you have to go to drive c okay you have to go to drive c let's make this big and then you have to go to windows here windows let me like make it a bit smaller so it's gonna be in the center so windows and then system 32 just press s i think it's gonna be system 32 is right here and then you have to go to driver store it's right here and then click uh, file repository and then here we have to look for the nvml.dll files so either you can scroll up and down and look for it but it's like tons of folder here that's gonna be take time to look for it you know like uh, the uh, easy way is to just go here on the top right corner and then f type uh, nbml dot dll and then enter and it will show you the result right here as you can see we have two we have two of them like this one here 1.06 megabytes and uh, 1.04 i just what i did i i, I just i just go with a b uh, the the big size right here so either you can just copy this one here right click in your mouse and then uh, click copy or if you want to 
find out exactly where is the folder for this you can just go here on the three dots right here and as, as you can see they're like windows system 32 driver store file repository and then nv dis oops dis uh, pi that's a 96 ee 1d8 so if you go back to uh, file repository let's go why is this try to remember that that's the location okay dispi 6 ee 1d8 okay so you have to go to letter n hopefully we can find it right away this is just to show you guys to find it manually it's right here so this one here the ISBI and then that's the E1D8 so let's uh, double click it and then now we have to look for nvml.dll all right it's right here so this is uh, again same thing you can just uh, click that uh, left click and then right click and then copy that and uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make another folder just temporary folder to let's go to my documents i'm gonna make another temporary folder oh doesn't accept that let's see if i accept that uh, name all right so, and then i'm gonna just face it here so it's right there so I just leave that open all right so let's uh, the next thing we have to do as I said you have to uh, face that uh, to a different location the first location is uh, that system 32 as you can see the system 32 is already right here or if this uh, window is not open so you can just go to uh, your local disk drive C and then go to Windows again and then click system 32 but since the uh, this uh, window is already open we're just gonna click this one here system 32 all right so we are in a system 32 and then what we have to do is to look for NVSMI folder so we are letter N we have NV here and then there's no NVMI nv smi folder so in this case what we should do is to create that folder you can go to the top uh, left corner right here with the arrow down right here just click this folder and then click continue and then click yes and then we got a new folder here so we have to name that uh, nv smi so take note that it has to be it has to be capital letters Click enter and then click yes again and then open the folder that we created and then face that uh, DLL files that we got from repository all right so continue that's the permission all right this all right it's already there anyway if we go back here it's still there all right so the second location that we need to face that file is a uh, we have to go to program files uh, let's see first drive C yeah we, uh, we go back to drive C and then we go to program files and then we look for Nvidia corporation it's right here and then again we have to look for that folder as you can see right here this location already have that folder but it's empty so what we got to do, what we have to do is to face that uh, files again and then click continue, it's administration permission and it's already there. Alright, so the second location that we have to face that uh, files is a uh, program files 86. So I think we can just go back here to drive C and then the, this is the program file uh, times 86 and then we have to look for that folder again nvidia corporation and then we don't have the nvs mi folder 
so what we should do is we have to create it again let's click the this folder here and then click continue and then rename that to nvsmi make sure it's a uh, capital letters then click enter and then paste that uh, DLL files and there you go so we have we have these uh, files already in the three location that we needed to to, to face just to double check again NVIDIA Corporation is right there and then we go back to program files uh, where is that NVIDIA 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 corporation is right here and then the folder okay it's right there and uh, we go back to system 32 just to double check you know before starting the computer because it's windows and then system 32 just type s we'll jump to letter s and then yeah, and uh, NVIDIA letter N is that NVIDIA or oh no the folder that we made NVSMI okay all right so we already faced that uh, DLL files on the Windows uh, system 32 program files and the uh, NVIDIA corporation program files 86 NVIDIA corporation so so the next thing you have to do is to restart your rig and then start adding cards one by one and uh, see if that solved the issue of course if if it does solve the issue it won't give you error anymore it will just start mining if you set your a nice hash or quick miner to auto uh, auto mine when uh, the window starts so all right guys so that's what i did to fix the this error here device could not obtain power consumption or device failed to set the power mode and again hopefully it will uh, because it works for me hopefully it's also work for you guys and then if it does please you know don't forget to hit that uh, like button below and then probably subscribe to my channel so that it will really motivate me to you know make another uh, you know more videos like this again my channel is not specific for mining you know whatever I do if it's useful if I think it's a useful you know and interesting to share with you guys I will upload it on my channel and before I forget I just want to mention that I'm already I already have uh, affiliate with Amazon for for now it's uh, an Amazon Canada only not in US not international but soon I'm gonna apply for that as well so my free my latest two videos that I upload I think I have my affiliate link in the description below so like if you if it happens that you guys want to buy anything from Amazon and you please you know use that link uh, in the uh, in the description it's not gonna it's it doesn't cost you anything it's just like Amazon once you click that I mean what once once you click that link it will still take you to Amazon website you still have to log in and again it doesn't cost you anything you know is the Amazon the Amazon will pay me a referral fee like a commission referral fee from you know for advertising this their products or for taking you to go to their website and then buy something and and that link you don't really have to buy the specific products that i covered on my video once you click that link and then you log in your uh, uh log into into your account uh, you can just search any any products that you want to buy from amazon and then i still get commission for that I just want to say thank you to all of you guys who subscribed to my channel i just reached uh, 1019 subscribers so far so that makes my channel qualified to be monetized by youtube which i did so again thank you so much guys for uh, supporting my channel guys i really appreciate you all and as usual thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye